a long weekend is just an excuse to get a long way from boring. With models up to 62 horsepower or room for four, go rugged, go big, go gated. Stop by our dealership for special offers taking place for a limited time. Get great deals and service on legendary John Deere equipment. And welcome to the Georgia Southern Post Game Wrap-Up Show. I'm your host, Josh Aubrey, being joined as always by Matt Yogas, sports editor and Georgia Southern beat writer for the Statesboro Herald. And Matt, what a difference a year makes. Last year, up in Boone, it was the Mountaineers coming away with a 38-14 victory over the Eagles, this time here at Paulson Stadium. It's Georgia Southern on top, 34-14. We saw the point spread in Vegas was around 15. I think it finished off about 18. Both of us thought this is a rivalry game. It's not going to be that big of a spread. It shouldn't be that big of a game. It ended up being that way. Thanks in large part, once again, to the Eagle defense who held Appalachian State scoreless inside the red zone, inside the 15, three times in the second half. Yeah, they got an interception at the one yard line. Appalachian State went for it actually on fourth down from the nine yard line. They got a tackle there. Taylor Lamb, the quarterback, running the option. And really, Georgia Southern just shut down the run. They outrushed Appalachian State 408 to 77, and that's a recipe for a win no matter who you're playing. All right, well, the Eagle offense moving the ball right, as, right down the field as well. It looked like in the second half, Kevin Ellison got banged up a little bit. They bring in Fabian Upshaw, but Ellison finishes the game, and Matt Breida once again starts the scoring for the Eagles. Well, he only scored from 56 yards out this time. The other three were over 60, but we'll give him a break on that one. Again, every game this year, all five games, he's been the guy who scored the first touchdown for the Eagles, and today was no exception. 56 yards to the house on the first drive of the game. Were you surprised by this score here this, this evening? I, I don't know that anything would have surprised me after seeing what Appalachian State had. I think this was, you know, Georgia Southern really is about 20 points better than Appalachian State, but coming in, I didn't know what to expect, and, and you know, it was a game. It was a good game for Georgia Southern. You shake a three-game losing streak to App State off, and everybody probably feeling pretty good about themselves right now. All right, let's get out and see some of the highlights from the victory for the Eagles. A rare Thursday night game at Paulson Stadium. Georgia Southern hosting Appalachian State. Country music recording artist Cole Swindell leading the Eagles onto the field before the second largest crowd ever at Paulson Stadium. <laughs> Probably, uh, been a big fan my whole life and getting to lead the team out in such a big game. Uh, let's go get them. I'm pumped. Got it, baby. And GATA they would. What's becoming as much a tradition as Freedom's Flight, Matt Breida starting the scoring. His fifth straight game, scoring the Eagles' first points, and this one from 56 yards away, Georgia Southern on top, 7 to nothing. The Eagle defense trying to do like Clarice and silence the Lamb, Taylor Lamb, the freshman quarterback for the Mountaineers. The Eagles hold apt to only six yards of total offense in the entire first quarter. Back on offense, the Eagles moving downfield. Kevin Ellison going six for 10 for 73 yards through the air. This drive eventually stalls and Alex Hanks hits from 19 yards away, giving the Eagles a 10-0 lead. The defense again doing the rest. Jay Ellison with the sack. And we go to the second quarter. Georgia Southern up 10-0. They'd add to it moments later. First the block punt, setting up the offense in excellent field position. This would lead to a one-yard L.A. Ramsby touchdown to make it 17 to nothing. But just when it looked as though the Eagles may pull away, back come the Mountaineers. First, it's Lamb breaking the schneid with a 19-yard touchdown run here. The Eagles able to counter this one, though. First, it's Ellison working his way downfield. He finished with 151 yards rushing. Capping the four-play 49-yard scoring drive, Ellison finds B.J. Johnson from 17 yards out. It's 24-7, Eagles. Just before the half, the Mountaineers tack on this Marcus Cox touchdown to make it 24-14 at the half. To the third quarter we go. The Eagle defense coming up big. First on a fourth down attempt, Quan Daniels there for the stop. And then later, Lamb looking for six. 
but it's Nick Wright with the interception. The offense proceeds to move downfield. First Ellison to a wide open Zach Walker to the 35. Next after Ellison was shaken up, Fabian Upshaw on fourth and six with the completion for the first down. To the third we go with Georgia Southern still up by that same score at the half of 24-14. Alex Hanks quickly makes it 27-14 with the 35-yard field goal. And then back to the ground where the Eagles rush for 408 yards to only 74 for App. Ellison with the first down. Next the give to Matt Breida who added 135 on the ground himself. This one down to the 10-yard line. And finally, Ellison, well, he'll go airborne on this one over the top for the score, and the Eagles go on for the win by a final of 34-14. to 14. And when we come back, we're going to listen to some post-game comments from Coach Fritz and some of the players. 2013 has been a great year for all of us. Got a couple things that ideas. Get out of my office. Yes. Get into TC Outdoors and get out. Hunting season's here and TC Outdoors has everything you need. TC Outdoors, Northside Drive East in Statesboro or tc-outdoors.com. Your hunting and fishing headquarters. It's just one of those games that you just feel the tension. Two great teams going at it. Much respect for uh, each team. I just think that that we just really just recognize that competition and just want to play our A game every time we meet them. The crowd was great. The crowd, the atmosphere was wonderful in the stadium, and we just felt it on the field every time we went out and took it. It feels great. It feels great. Great rivalry like this, it, it feels great to get a win. You know, you walk around campus all week, and everyone's just talking about the App State game, um, just like it's every year. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a big rivalry game, and uh, it definitely brings a, a different hype to the game. All the time, uh, online always kids me, like, uh, hurry up and uh, break along with us. We can go hurry up and get a break and get to the sideline because uh, they be getting tired. But, uh, yeah, like I said, the O-line does um, such a great job of blocking. Um, it wouldn't happen if it wasn't for them. I believe we're so successful because um, Coach Fritz came in and uh, he just did a great job of coaching us. And, um, you know, he knew that this was a winning program. So um, every week we come in, we uh, prepare well, um, study film well, and he just does a great job with us of coaching us and making sure we're ready to play the game. Seniors coming to this game, never be App Appalachian State since uh, 2011, something like that. You know, it's just – it's great to be able to come out there and just play for those guys, you know, just get a big win and now, you know, they beat up on us last year pretty bad up in Boone. You know, we just had a chip on our shoulder to come out here and just play hard and just execute everything our coaches had planned for us. It did feel different because, you know, we had class today, I mean, you know, it's just rough being to go to class and they got a football game, so he kind of took us all back to our high school days. You know, we just we just did a great job preparing throughout the week of practice. You know, we didn't have, have much time to prepare, but we did a great job of just focusing in mentally. You know, it wasn't too physical, you know, just being able to mentally come out here and know we had a game on Thursday night. You know, we're going to have a great a great crowd out here. You know, it just helped us out a lot, too. Really proud of our guys. Did an excellent job uh, preparation all week. It was a short week. A lot of the preparation was mental. Uh, I could tell uh, today when we were uh, going through walkthrough, pregame meal, before the game, that the guys were really locked in and ready to go. We, we came out of the box uh, very well and uh, got a little bit stagnant there for a period of time. Uh, but then came on in the fourth quarter and really did a great job of finishing and a uh, big win for our football program, the university, and, and all the all the alums. So we're, we're really excited about this win. We we're, were jacked up. We were pumped up. It was a big win. I had a bunch of the seniors come up to me and say, Coach, it's my last crack. I haven't beat them yet. And they, they, they won, and a big deal for them. Whenever you beat your rivals, that's a big, big deal for you. It's a great day today from the – Dedication ceremony for this uh, fabulous facility to, uh, you know, uh, the Eagle Walk, the bus trip, is, you know, it's a special place. And uh, uh, so we were just uh, proud of the win. A lot of people to watch. I, I'd, you know, I, after we got done from the Eagle Walk, I, I, I might have had 30 texts from friends and former players and talking about how they're going to watch the ball game. And, and uh, you know, so it's, it, it puts us in a national stage. And, uh, you know, so it's it's a big deal without question. And, uh, you know, we really feel like we, we've got an opportunity to do big things here. We've got a perfect location, great university, fantastic facilities, you know. So uh, it's a great stage for us to be on. We've got good football players, number one. You know, and I noticed that about the second or third day of spring practice uh, that, you know, 
we got we got some guys who are really good football players. I think this this offensive line really helps us with with what we're doing. Uh, and when we when we play whoever we play, our, our guys match up without question uh, up front. And uh, I've I've been a lot of places, and sometimes we haven't matched up real good up front. And we had to do with smoke and mirrors. And, and I think I got a tremendous coaching staff. They do a, do a great job uh, day in and day out. And and uh, you know and the kids believe in what we're doing. Uh, and that's a, that's a credit to them. You know, I, you know, they've had a lot of success here. I come in, and you know, and they've they've uh, embraced you know change and, and do a, a great job of of uh, you know executing the game plan. If the clothes make the man, the surf shop makes him better. Find the look that's all yours. With a wide selection of only the best brands for gentlemen, it can be a very bonding experience. The Surf Shop at your service. All right, Matt, wrap things up from here in Statesboro with the Eagles coming out victorious here, 34 to 14. Final thoughts on the game here this evening? I think Georgia Southern came in wanting to prove that they were the best new add to the Sun Belt. But I think, honestly, at this point, you got to start making the argument that Georgia Southern might be one of the best teams in the Sun Belt. Certainly 2-0 and right now. They have a chance at winning this thing. They're going on the road to play New Mexico State, a team that's probably at the bottom of the conference. A chance to be 3-0 and in the Sun Belt here in the early part of the season. That's huge. The Georgia Southern Eagles flying out to New Mexico State. That's where they're up next. We hope you'll join us next week. For Matt Yogis, I'm Josh Aubrey. Thanks for joining us.